Social Media. Welcome to Lakita T Shop's famous inspirational minute. I am so happy that you are here on today. So I welcome you. Hello, Social Media. So happy to have you in this house on today. I'm so happy that you have joined me and that you are here. I welcome you. Come on in and relax. Hello, you guys. I love you guys and I thank you so much for being here. Hello. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Check out my books. Well, first of all, it's Wednesday morning and um, it's after midnight. So I, I am in Virginia. So yes. Um, check out my books over at Amazon.com. If you want to donate to the ministry, feel free to check the description box. It'll tell you where to send it, send the um, donation. And also, um, if you want to, for more inspiration, check out my website and it'll give you more inspiration. If you want me to coach you, feel free to um, check out the description box. It'll tell you where to contact me in this hour so that... I can coach you. So let's get on with today's message. Do you want your own family? Do you want your own family? Okay. Some of you may be feeling a desire, a deep desire in your growing that you want your own family some way, someday. You have a desire, a desire to be a mom, a desire to have a husband, a desire to have a wife, a desire to, to, to have your very, very own family. Now, let's look at up the word own. The word own means something that belongs to the person or thing mentioned. Um, possess, have to one's name, have, keep, retain, maintain, to grant, to accept. So I'm here to say that God knows the desires of your heart. Sometimes God will put those desires right there in you because it's something that he wants you to have someday. It's something that he is stirring up in you um, for you to have, you know, and he wants to um, make you a mom. He wants to make you a father. He wants to make you a wife, you know, or a husband, you know, if you have that desire in you. And also, you know, um, in the Bible, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter because Zachariah him and his wife was at a very old age, very old age. I think they were like in their 90s or 80s or 70s. They, they were older and God blessed them with a baby. God had to zip up Zach Zachariah's mouth so that he wouldn't ruin the promise that God had <coughs> set aside for him and his wife. So I am here to say it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter. If God has a plan and a vision for your life, it is going to be done. If God wants the best for you, it's going to be done. If, if God has a, 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 a specific child that he wants you to mother, he will bless you. If, if he has a specific husband that he wants you to be the wife of, he will bless you. Also, to know this, that it comes with maintenance. Because anything that God gives you, it comes and it requires maintenance. So this is a time for you to learn and grow as a wife to be. This is a time for you to learn and grow as a separated wife or separated husband. This is a time for you to grow as a, um, maybe um, you are a widow and now you are ready to 
remarry, you're ready to start a new family, whatever the case may be, God can do it for you. God can give you a beautiful family. God can bless you with the desires of your heart. God can work it out right now. All you have to do is believe. Just believe that he is the, if you ask of him, he is the, the king of granting the desires of our heart. You know? So I don't want you to cry. I don't want you to, um, you know, feel sad because it's not over. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. Your life is still progressing. Your life is still moving forward. So don't give up. Don't lose hope. You will connect with the person that you are supposed to be with. God will connect you with um, the desires of your heart or where he wants you to be. You will be blessed, okay? And you will be, God will put favor on your life, just like he did Zachariah. He will put favor on your life. And I believe it was Hannah. You know, she wanted a son, and God blessed her with a son, you know, and she wanted wanted her son and God blessed her with it, you know, after the weeping and, you know, and he, he, she, she became pregnant, you know, and God, um, um, in the Bible, you know, he was saying to some of the woman, one of the women, women that stop weeping, stop crying. It's going to be okay. I am here to say it's going to be okay. God knows the desires of your heart. He knows what you are going through. He knows and he understands. He is the father of knows, knowing. He is the father of knowing, meaning, meaning knowing your knowings and in, 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 in what you um, desires. You are not alone in this situation. God is with you every step of the way and he will see you through. You will make it through this journey. And I want you to send me a, a message, send me an email and say, you were right. God has blessed me with a child. God has blessed me with a husband. God has blessed me with a wife. In Jesus' name, come on, let's pray. In Jesus' name, God, you know the desires of um, these people heart in Jesus' name in this video. God, I pray right now in Jesus' name that you will bless them, that you will bless them with the family that you have envisioned for them when you plan them on this earth in Jesus' name. I pray that you bless them, Lord Jesus, that your will and mighty will be done, that they will have the family that they desire, a family that's close-knit, a family that's not against each other, a family that's walking together, that's on the same page, that's on the same team. Lord, I pray right now, and I rebuke the enemy against this family. In Jesus' name, I pray right now that your will be done right now for this family. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you bless them with every blessing that there is. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen, that they will walk with you on their journey. Amen. So anyway, that is my time. I will see you in the next video. I thank you so much for watching me on today. Um, we are chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We make a lot of mistakes, but we continue to push forward. That's why we, we are chosen, baby. We are the chosen ones. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Bye.